Welcome back, everyone, to the Bear Star Plays YouTube channel. Today is Thursday, November 21st, and I'm back breaking down some more plays in the NBA. Don't have a very big slate tonight. Uh, I'm going to be breaking down one play. Do have a couple player props, but let's take a look at the plays from Wednesday before we do anything. Right now, the Rockets are up by eight points going up against the Pacers. We have them minus 6.5. The 76ers, my God, uh, Maxi, Paul George, Joel Embiid, Jared McCain. Going up against a shorthand of Memphis Grizzlies team. Down by 10. Maxi, 12 minutes, shooting 12% from the field. I don't know if he's hurt again or what. Paul George, I know, is hurt again. He rolled his little ankle. It's unbelievable, this team. It's unbelievable. Joel Embiid sucking out there every single game now. He's horrible. You know, the best player on this team is Jared McCain right now. And he can't do everything. Banned. They are banned. Even if they come back, they're banned. Other two player props have not started yet. Have both of them under 26 and a half points. Uh, Franz came out a little bit lower than I thought, but maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. Uh, but nothing has finished yet. Hopefully the Rockets pull it off because I don't think the 76 are coming back. So let's take a look at the play for Thursday. It's going to be the Magic going up against the Lakers. We're going to see how good the Magic are going to be this season because, again, they're going to be without one of their superstars the majority of the year, Paulo. Uh, they're going to be without him probably, I don't know how long it said, a couple months for him. Um, but they've been playing pretty good basketball without him. They have a matchup tonight on Wednesday night going up against the Clippers. That's the latest game on the slate tonight, 9.30 starts. So probably won't be able to watch all of that. Probably going to catch the first half. We have Wagner under his points. But I think we might learn a lot from this team out of this game. I do think the Magic are a good team. They're just very good defensively. And if one of their players has an off night shooting, they're not going to win the game. That's just how it goes sometimes. They're not going to have to travel for this game very much. It's in L.A. So they're playing the Clippers tonight, play the Lakers tomorrow, no problem. I just don't like them in this spot. I think the Lakers are a hot team right now. Don't connect this kid. He can do anything he wants. It's unbelievable how the Lakers got this guy. Where did they pick him? 17th or 14th, something like that, somewhere around there. I was talking to the friend group during the NBA draft. Everybody was like, don't connect, don't connect, don't connect. Because if you watch Tennessee play and you watch don't connect playing college, you could see it. Like he, he can make everything. He can do everything. He still has a lot to prove. He still has a lot, a lot of time to get better in the NBA. I mean, he's not great right now, but – Give this guy a couple years, he's going to be starting. He's going to be one of the best players in the league. Scored 37 points as a rookie in the game yesterday. Took the game-winning shot, hit that one. So this kid's awesome. The Lakers have all kinds of weapons everywhere. I think the Lakers right now, they've got two of the best players in the NBA. Top 10 for sure. They've got the best rookie besides Jerry McCain. And maybe it's up for bait. Jerry McCain's been really good. But second best rookie. And they have one of the better coaches in J.J. Redick. I know J.J. Redick getting a lot of crap right now. But we haven't seen the Lakers be coached in a number of years. So at least J.J. Redick is doing that. LeBron James is 39 years old. He's basically having a triple-double every single game. You have Anthony Davis being a monster down low, 25-plus points, 12-plus rebounds per game. Then you have a guy like Dolan come off the bench, 30-plus points. I mean, everything's everything's looking great for the Lakers right now. This is actually the, the best I've seen the Lakers play in a long time. I know that usually the Lakers are talked about as a title team. That's usually bullshit. Like, that's just people talking – that's just the media wanting to keep the Lakers relevant. I think this season they've got a decent shot to compete for a title. They're not going to win a title, but they can compete for a title. I think the Lakers win this game. I think they win it pretty big. They're going to play some better defense. I'm going to take them minus five as the play for tonight. Let's go take a look at the player props. We're going to be looking at LeBron James, the GOAT for the first player prop. Age of 39, I'm taking his over 1.5 made threes. I just talked about the match. If they play great defense, I do think they're going to play good defense in this game, but the Lakers, they just have too many guys who can score, and that's going to be a problem for them. The Lakers most likely won't have their most efficient game from the field. They won't have the most points scored in this game on the season, but they have so many ways to beat you. One of them is a 39-year-old who can still make jumpers. We've seen LeBron James be extra aggressive this season, whether it's going to the rim or crashing the glass, because, again, he's had a triple-double in, I think, three of the last six games that he's been in. But I think we're going to see him knock down a couple threes in this game. He's shooting a career-high 41.6% from deep. That's insane to say he's been in the league since 20 or 2003, the volume's there. He's taken five plus three point shots in four consecutive games. In the month of November, he's taken 5.7 threes per game. He's made 2.4 of them. I do think this player prop's going to be over 1.5 threes. That's where it usually comes out at. If it goes to over 2.5 threes, I'm going to take his over total points instead. Probably going to be 22 and a half or 23 and a half. But I think he can make two. Three's kind of pushing it. Uh, he can definitely make three, but three's kind of pushing it. So for right now, over 1.5 threes will be the play. If it comes out at over 2.5, take the over points. As the first play there for the second play of the day, we're going to go back to the unders. 
And we're going to be looking at John Collins to go under his total point, 17.5 going up against the Spurs. Could be a little bit more, could be a little bit less. I like the under in this game because the Spurs all season long have been great defensively. I touched on this, I believe, a couple games ago. But Popovich has been doing a great job coaching this team how to play defense. This is still a very young Spurs team that got some really good players. But he has been doing extra coaching on the defensive side because the Spurs last season, two seasons ago, they were one of the worst defenses in the NBA. Now they're one of the best defenses in the NBA. They beat the Thunder the last game that they played, and because of that defense, I don't think the Thunder scored 100 points. I think they bring that defense into this game. And down low, the Spurs have been a top-10 defense all season long. I do think John Collins will struggle in this one, especially with Victor down there causing chaos down there. I thought John Collins might make a turnaround, expand his game just a little bit. Saw him shoot a ton of threes with the Hawks. Hasn't been that way with the Jazz so far, and he's only shooting 36% from deep. That's down from last season. So I don't think he's going to be able to score 18-plus points in the paint in this game, especially if he doesn't have that three-point shot working. So I'm going to take his under 17.5 points going up against a really tough defense in the San Antonio Spurs. That's the final play of the day. Let's go over to the recap graphic. We're going to be looking at the Lakers, minus five. As the game pick, we have John Collins under 17.5. Might come out a little bit more. Might come out a little bit less. And then LeBron James over 1.5 made threes. Again, if it comes out at over 2.5, take the over total points as the final play of the day. Guys, going to do it for the NBA plays and props for Thursday, November 21st, Lady Games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please sure to drop a like this video and subscribe to the channel below. See you guys next video, and thanks for watching.